From Wheaton, Reverend Jackson ventured to Naperville High School, where he wowed students by proposing a six-point plan to stop drugs before they reach America's shores. I submit to you today, my friends, that drug trafficking, the flow of drugs, is the number one threat to our national security today. Jackson promised okay. to inject a billion more dollars into the Coast Guard in order to stop the drug flow. But threat to our national security. Make America a drug-free nation. The high school audience, which may not agree with him politically, seemed enthusiastic about his six-point plan calling for spending almost $7 billion a year for education, treatment, and law enforcement, an increase of 71% over current levels, the appointment of a federal drug czar to oversee all government efforts, convening a Western Hemispheric Drug Summit to increase international cooperation, and considering military action to either help foreign governments or take action when they refused. The use of the military will always be the very last resort. If a democratic government is about to be overthrown by fascist drug lords, we should be prepared to joint venture with that government. I think there are elements in, in Reverend Jackson's programs that are workable. I think he raises issues that are important. And I think it's the type of subject that should be debated in a presidential election. Peter Benzinger is now a consultant to business and government. He's one of the most respected authorities in the country. He's also a lifelong Republican. What says Jackson's proposals are similar to what he's been after. Trying to solidify support before the big day next Tuesday. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Jim Avila and the Jackson campaign. The words are not quite right, and the emotion is a bit lacking, but few of these Wheaton College students had anything to do with the civil rights movement, and only a handful had ever tried to sing We Shall Overcome. Presidential candidates have come to this small Baptist college before, but most of them were Republican, and all of them were white, till Jesse Jackson. For the inspired Democrats and for the Republicans who are being transformed this morning, <laughs> glad you're here. In bringing his campaign to the western suburbs of DuPage County, in an area where there are few Democrats and just as few blacks, Jesse Jackson hopes to broaden his support and also hopes to sell his message that drug abuse is the major enemy in the United States. Thank you very much. This is where Jesse Jackson chose to outline a new six-point plan to stop drug abuse in this country. Naperville North High School, where Jesse Jackson is both celebrity and the best cheerleader this school has ever seen. Jackson's drug plan calls for $3 billion to be spent on new equipment for the Border Patrol and Coast Guard, the hiring of a drug czar at cabinet level who would do nothing but fight the narcotics trade, the establishment of free drug treatment clinics to anyone who asks for help, and the use of the military to crack down on countries supporting drug suppliers. If a democratic government is about to be overthrown by fascist drug lords, we should be prepared to joint venture with that government to stop the overthrow of that government. We've seen too many governments where drug lords literally drove tanks to the courthouse, killing judges, and certainly we must defend that government. Jackson has made the drug issue one of his major campaign planks. It is non-controversial, simple to understand, and it rhymes. Jim Avila, The 5 O'Clock News. I'm Mike Flannery with the Paul Simon Airplane.